How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to a breakfast edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk. Today, this morning, I'm smoking on an Oliva G Maduro. I think I featured this on a breakfast pairing video before, but this is a great cigar with coffee. This is very rich in chocolate flavor, tobacco flavor, and I just think that goes great with a cup of coffee. It's probably my favorite breakfast pairing of all time. I'm sitting out here today, reading a book, as I often do. You know, um, I just kind of want to come at you this morning and show you a little bit of my morning routine. So, I don't do this every day, but a lot of days what I like to do is set my alarm so that I can wake up early before my daughter's up, uh, before I have to go to work, so that I can brew a cup of coffee, brew a pot of coffee, grab a cigar, sit outside, listen to the birds chirp a bit, and read a book. I love the Kindle. I don't know if you guys are fans of uh, e-readers, but I certainly am. But yeah, you know, it's for me, it's a very centering thing to do for the day. To have the cigar and the coffee and the book before work. You know, because it's still, I still have time. Got to get up early enough that I have time to, you know, get a little bit, to, a little bit to eat, have a shower, get changed, get going. Um, And I find that it really, it really provides a lot of balance in my day, in my week. You know, I only have to do this a couple times a week, it seems like, to really, to really get a good benefits from it. I don't do it every day. But I find it's really easy to slip into that, you know, roll out of bed, throw your clothes on, go to work. And then by the time you come home, you're tired, you know, you probably eat some dinner, flop down on the couch, and call it a day. And... You know, I, I, I've been in that schedule. I've been in that funk before. You know, I always used to find that I would, when I would sit and think and question myself, I, a lot of times I would feel like um, I just lost my week. You know, every work day was like a lost day. Like they, it was just, it's a, that's a work day. Everything else was scheduled out, you know, blocked out on the calendar, work day. And I always wondered, why can't I have the feeling like work is just something that I do for part of my day. No, I should have time before and after work to do something. And um, what I've discovered is you really have to make time to do that. You know, for me, it means getting up a little bit earlier from time to time. And it means, um, you know, leaving at a reasonable hour in the evening from work, just saying, you know what, it can wait till tomorrow. Um, and I find if I do that, at least make those decisions a few days a week, then my week is just much better. So like on a day like today, I'm going to go into work, and it's not really going to feel like a work day. You know, it, it, it's interesting. It, it's a mindset thing. You know, and, and again, it's all about balance. It's, you know, I've taken time for myself, and um, and I'll be happier for it. And I'll probably be more productive for it. I think I usually am. Because... At the end of the day, and I guess that's why I'm talking about this, my nose is itchy, you know, the reason that we smoke cigars, at least the reason I smoke cigars, and I hope the reason why you smoke cigars, is to find some level of happiness. And, you know, cigars make me happy. They calm me down. I like, uh, I like the ritual of the cut and the light. I like bills of smoke. I love the flavor. Um, I like the quietness, the solitude. Although I also do like to smoke with friends, but, you know, this, this is morning, so... Um, we'll go that route. But, uh, yeah, I like the camaraderie of it. You know, there's a lot of things to love about a cigar. But um, I, I guess what this video is more to just promote not only with the cigar smoking, but just in general to find balance in your life. Because I find the happiest individuals I know tend to be the most balanced. So while I find happiness in cigars... Cigars are far from the only thing that makes me happy. You know, I love a good book. I love my family. I love my family more than a good book. I love my family. I love a good book. I love a good meal. Uh, I love a good laugh, a good movie, a good cigar, a good drink. There's all kinds, you know, I love a, a round of golf. I love to play music. There's, there's all kinds of things um, that really give me happiness. And... Um, 
I think people who get overly focused on one or another have a tendency to, to miss out on the rest of life. And there, there's, a, there's a whole lot to, going on in this world. And even more than cigars. And I, and I love cigars. I love cigars as much as anybody. I really do. But there's a whole lot going on in this world. And uh, so I guess my suggestion today is set your alarm, get out of bed, and go experience some of those things. And those things most certainly include a nice cigar and a nice cup of coffee. So, that's all I really had to say. I just, I'd kind of like to get back to my book and listen to these birds chirp. So let me know. Uh, you know, what, what do you guys do? You know, cigars or otherwise? Do you have any kind of routine or ritual you use to center yourself? Or, you know, what makes you happy? You know, let me know what makes you happy. How about that? And uh, we'll try to get a dialogue going. So thanks for hanging out this morning, guys. Uh, really appreciate you stopping by and chilling and listening to me rant a little bit. Hopefully not too much. But uh, anyway, everybody, I hope this week finds you doing very well. And I hope to hear from you soon. Make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. And always leave me a comment. I will get back to you. All right, everybody. So until next time, keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Take care.